Platinum Trophy in Assassin's Creed Unity made me go on an adventure throughout the history of Paris. Oh, World War II. Yes, some profiles say that it's gonna take me 50 hours to get the Platinum, so this is gonna be a very long journey. The first trophy comes just after completing the prologue to the prologue. Whoa! Oh. And now he's killed. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If a hysterical pain Long us, time ago. Out. Then we meet young Arno, our main character. Come on, let's go explore. Bet you can't steal one. Steal the apple. Sure. <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. What should we do now? I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Someone was killed, probably. Oh no, it's his dad! His father mystically dies, and since then he's taken care of by De La Serre, the father of the little girl. Then we jump to current day, where Arno is working for De La Serre. One day he sneaks into a party to see Elise, the little girl, and now his love, only to find De La Serre killed and being framed for the murder. Oh, he's dead. Monsieur! Guards! Help! Murder! He's killed Lord De La Serre. Shit. In jail we meet a guy who knew my father and invited me to join the Brotherhood after escaping during the storming of the Bastille. Assassin's Creed Unity. So this everything was just an introduction. Arno joins the Brotherhood and finds out that Elise and her father were actually Templars. Arno Dorian is dead. Very nice. I'm now an assassin. Rebirth. Nonetheless, Arno still continues his investigation to find who actually killed the Lacerre to find justice. Oh, that was nice actually. After assassinating one of the guys responsible for the murder of De La Serre, a random portal opened, we entered it, and we traveled to a different era. Still in Paris though, but a different era. There's blood. The shore was... Oh shit! That scared me. Oh, it fell. Okay, is this Texas? You are. See you on the other side. That was actually very cool. After that, we are finally free to explore the map and focus on the most important trophies in this game. Getting all collectibles and completing every side objective in main story missions. The thing that helped me so much during this platinum push was finding out early in the game that you can buy maps with collectible locations with helix credits. This is useful actually, I'll just buy this one. So if you're trying to go for the platinum, do not spend your helix credits that gives you guns. If you want a gun, complete the Dead Kings DLC. It's quite short, you can farm some money while playing it, but most importantly, completing the DLC rewards you with the best weapon in the game. Oh, 
This gun is insane. Okay, back to the story. Arnold decides to bring Elise to the Brotherhood and not everyone liked it. What the hell you done this time, pisspot? The assassin mentor Mirabel was killed by another assassin and after some detective investigation we caught the killer. Oh, that something happened. Something nice, something sketchy, something dramatic. Elise? Elise? What is this? Poison? Stab? What happened? What's this dagger? What is that? Maybe she killed him. What if she killed him, you know? Poison. I was I right, it was that. poison. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Ha. <laughs> Wait, where's the fucking body? Where did the body go? <laughs> it just disappeared on its own. You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Took you long enough, piss pot. Balak. It was him? Should have known it'd be you that find me. Oh. You poisoned Mirabeau. He that's poisoned a, us. Peace that's a fucking Templars. plot twist. It's a fairy tale. Time to fight. <laughs> Let's Balak, go, please. we're fighting. Oh my god. Stagger wait 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 Don't get knocked down staggering strikes Uh what the fuck are staggering strikes? Staggering strike Hold Okay hold X Sure Wait he's already dead No this fight was too short Okay let's try again My gun is too good I killed him instantly there was no epic fight in this. Reasonable men don't treat with Fingers. Oh, first try lucky. Let's go. Hello. I'm fine. Stay there. Can he just die? Oh my god. Just die. My fingers hurt. I had enough of this fight. Memory complete. I'm gonna rate this memory. Five stars. After the epic fight, another portal opened. And this time it was Paris Dream World War 2. 
Mystery solved. It's a different era now. It's World War One probably. Or World War Two. Oh, World War Two. That should do it. You'll have to jump. Can we just appreciate this amazing view? It looks so nice. Anyways, let's go back. We met Napoleon and find out that the Templars are planning to kill the king. So we went after more Templars to finally understand who their final boss is. This mission I had to do 3 ledge assassinations. And to do that I had to be stealthy. In which I kinda failed. Got one. It's progress, you know. Not exactly sure how to get it. Oh, that was the dude! Why were you here? I failed the mission! No! What? Why are you on a random fucking rooftop? I didn't do the side objectives yet. No! Oh my god. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It still says that I can do that three skills or no. Didn't say that, that, that I fit. Okay, I didn't feel yet, actually. That is wonderful to see. For this to, to cool down, I still can actually get the fucking three ledge assassinations. That's two. Yes! That's three. Let's get the collectibles now, I guess, in this area. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. Bye. You get your goddamn ugly ass on. How did they die? What the fuck? How did they die? What the fuck was that shit? He didn't even shoot at me and I died? Seriously? Well, I guess I'm restarting this anyway, so... Eventually... Okay, we got the three kills now. Okay, the mission is completed at least. Dude, very fetching. She's dead! Goodbye! Remember what I told you, Maggie. Again! Run! I am. We're almost at the river. Hurry! Just... Coming. Meow. <laughs> Starvation. Simple stuff, honestly. After killing three big Templars, we finally find who their boss is, German, and he's gonna be at the king's execution. What is happening? Oh. Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Oh. Is it Roger? Ew. Brutal shit. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! However, during the execution we didn't kill him, let him escape, then Arno is kicked out of the Brotherhood and his life goes a bit downhill. You don't want to do that, boy. Piss off, old man. Eventually Elise comes and convinces Arno to come back to Paris and help fight the Templars. So that's what he does. 
is dead. He must be dead, but he's not somehow. How is he not dead? I shot him in the head. If I honestly don't get the snipers for something, I'm gonna die again. Oh, what the fuck? How am I one shot? How did they kill me with one shot only? Mm. Okay, finally. After this, another portal opened and this time it was medieval Paris. Man, this is some Ezio type of stuff. Love it. Oh. Fuck. It's very much like Ezio. Find the exit fast. Oh fuck. Please don't hit me. That was scary as hell, honestly. These next upcoming missions were probably the hardest in the whole game. These missions were not particularly too hard, but doing them and the side objectives were super hard. And that took many hours to do. Where are the locked doors though? This isn't the best Late. Oh, there's a door Fuck, fuck, fuck Almost got spotted, oh my god That was too close He is sleeping I mean, they're all are technically sleeping Just need to see when this dude like goes away from the window Okay Ah, interact! Ah, that was so close Ah, I failed it, damn it Ah! Gotta focus now. I really need to use the berserk darts. Good. Now hide. Oh, I got seen. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No. Oh, that was that. Oh, that was so scary. Yes. Oh my god. The last mission took an hour to complete, and I wasn't even failing during it. Double air assassinations, alarm bell sabotage. Oh man, double air assassinations. These ones are actually quite tough in this game. That sniper is always like on my ass. I cannot get him. He's too far away from me. I need to try to get the double kills early on in the game. Mission, not game. Okay, okay. double. Good. Two out of three. It's hard to be not detected in this. Let's try to kill most of them. Ah! Almost got spotted. Gotta be more careful. It's very risky to do a double kill when it's like goes on and off all the time. Okay, I just need to get the bells. This might be tough though. One bell is down. There should be another one somewhere. Let's try to see where is the other bell. Maybe I can see it on the map. Oh, I do actually. Yes! Now all I had to do was climb the tower and kill Germain. 
Oh, what the fuck? What the hell was that? Of course, the superpowers. Wait, this reminds me in one of the Assassin's Creed. In one of the previous games that I played, there was this exactly yes, same type of final boss fight. No. The and it was exactly the same easy to kill him. Did I kill him or not? How? What? Okay, this might be a bit more difficult. We followed him into an underground tomb where sadly disaster struck. Oh, it's Elise, look. I need to heal myself. Oh, he's invisible. What the hell? He's not dead. Oh, this is gonna be a stupid shit, probably. Okay. Okay, that kind of worked. I wanted to hide and wasn't able to do that. Wonderful! Need to hide instantly now. Go, 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 go. Get up! Get up! Okay. Oh, that's a bad place to hide. Need to get behind something. Okay. Good. That's a checkpoint, at least. Or maybe even the mission over, but probably not. I'm stuck, Steph, bro. She's gonna die. Oh, the slow mo. Oh, the slow mo. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, she died. Or not. Elise! 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 Oh, she's dead. How is he not dead? Can I choose my way how to kill him? I guess there's not, not, not much I can do. There's no blade. Okay. Invisible blade kill. Memory complete. I think that's the final of mission of the game actually. That's the game. Curtain call. After completing the story, I already achieved 26 out of 51 trophies. Most of the miscellaneous trophies that I got are very easy to get and you mostly unlock them just by playing the game. The only trophy that was kinda rare was guillotine, which I unlocked accidentally while trying to escape from enemies. Wait, what? Oh, did I kill them with, uh, with this thing? Okay. The first thing I went to do was completing all missions with all side objectives. I only had a couple left, so this was fairly fast. Skip. Skip. Let's not waste time. Let's just quickly do this mission, get the trophy, and move on to the side missions. Okay, I do have the stun grenade. It's a trap. There we go, dude. To stand, there should be another one. Oh, it's in this room. Okay. Please die. 
No, it's too good to die. They just, they just don't die. That's shitty. That doesn't make sense. How am I supposed to know who's weak and who's strong? They all look the same. Okay, I got the poison kill though. Kinda worked actually. I want it all. Then I did all remaining solo kill related trophies and a couple of co-op missions to unlock skill points. Skill points were needed to unlock more abilities for other trophies. Chopped. Okay, I did miss something though. The baguette boy band. Okay, now we have enough points to buy the skill that I needed. Grand execution. Now just find a random person to get the skill. Oh, he's down. Let's get it. Yes, and stay down. Don't need it. The next two trophies are located in Cafe. They are very simple, but super random. Room with the view is very simple. All you have to do is stand in the balcony. Oh, there we go. A room with the view. And Patron of Darts is a bit complicated. First you need to do all the renovations, which is another trophy. And do all the cafe missions. The next couple of hours I spent doing social club missions and trying to collect as many collectibles as I can. That way minimizing my total time. Okay, steal the letter. Where would the letter be? Actually, don't even see me, never mind. Is that it? Oh my god, so easy. See? Okay, this is the last mission. It should give me the trophy after I complete this one. name of this trophy why is it like that what then i did every single helix rift which brought me back to different eras of paris from story the three trophies you get there are very fast to achieve it took me only 20 minutes to do that free. Well done. what now this area is becoming unstable the simulation is collapsing get out now okay Very good, but there's more assassins to save and more data to find. Was that the whole mission? That was fast. Very good, but there's more assassins to save and more data to find. Free, well done. Hurry up, you're almost at the time. Get the fuck out of here. A job well done. Our agents are never safe in the Helix, though. No so man's land. There he is. He's out of Good work. After that, I continue doing all the Ninat missions like Co-op and Enigmas. The most confusing thing that almost made me rage quit from this Platinum run was online trophies. The servers just don't work, and the way to fix it is very stupid. And even after that, the matchmaking is quite horrible, so I had to get help from my brother to get a 10 sync kills and one revive. Getting all the rewards required me to do a mission 3 times, which was very boring, but during that I grinded out the 10 knockout kills. Yeah, Surely I'll reach the 10 eventually. Oh! <laughs> Merciful killer. Enigmas were hard. 
if I did them like the game intended me to do, but as probably majority of the players, I just googled the exact locations of every enigma. That unlocked me a nice looking armor. Should be around here. There we go. I think this was the last of this enigmas. Will this unlock the armor? Yes, sir. It's been here for almost From the past. Years. Eventually, the only thing left was doing every co-op and heist mission. Doing them solo was a bit of a challenge, but it was achievable. This mission required me to talk to 5 people in a very limited time, which was almost impossible to do solo, but somehow I managed to pull off this insane clutch play. Come on, 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 come on. I don't have much time. This is gonna be so fucking close. This is gonna be so fucking close. I'm not gonna get it, probably. I'm not gonna get it. Je vous en prie, citoyen, un peu de manière. Not bad, but you're out of time. Now you need to distract the guards and help the Girondists get away. Head to the Bastille. Was that so close that the game thought that, that I failed, but I actually didn't because it was like at zero, zero, zero? Oh my god, that was so close. Okay, that wasn't that bad actually. This is it once. Completing all of them also gave me enough points to buy every single skill, which then allowed me to fully complete all training missions. I should have enough points to get these last skills and this last out skill. Oh, there we go. I got skills. Well done. Keep practicing and you'll be unstoppable. I'm already unstoppable because I finished the game. Yes, this is the last one. Okay. Was that it? No at all. And here we met the worst enemy in this game, Electables. There are 422 of them and without buying the map at the beginning of the game, it would have been extremely difficult. But during every single side and main mission, I was looking for them and going for them, which led me to a 60% completion after doing all story missions and a whopping 90% after completing every side mission. So getting the last 10% took me a reasonable 4 hours. Okay, this is the last cocade. Okay. Should give me a trophy, I think. Try. Tricolore or tricolor, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
after all this hard work and around 50 hours of gameplay, this was the last chest that gave me the last trophy and granted me the platinum. 